it's closer than it seems. If you were to look outside, you would go, no yeah. way <laughs> is that just a few months away. Although it's funny because when we get to July and it's uh, 100 degrees, we'll be thinking, Remember when it snowed? Yeah. Wouldn't that be nice again? <laughs> <laughs> Grass is always greener, isn't it? <laughs> uh, that it is. And yeah. uh, we're going to get our fair share of a few more additional snowflakes compared to what we've seen over the past several days. More the merrier, I guess, is the positive spin we can look at. And that's exactly what we're seeing up in elevation. Mount Hood Meadows, it's cold out that direction. 18 degrees as the snow continues to fall with a light breeze that makes it feel much colder than 18. And I did find the sunshine. It was hard to locate, but for Seaside, picking up on just a few of those rays, poking through the light rain showers that continue to fall. 41 is where we currently stand out along the shoreline. Not much different than what we are seeing right now with a live look over downtown Portland, although we're socked in with the gray skies, and that will be the case here for the next 24, if not even 48 hours. 40 degrees is where we currently sit at a PDX, but you'll notice as we progress through the evening hours after sunset, that's where we see that rain snow potential once again return. The good news is our temperatures are expecting to sit slightly above freezing 32 degrees as we hover in towards the mid 30s by the time one o'clock rolls around. Current temperatures holding steady in towards the upper 30s, low 40s for PDX, just the same for Vancouver. So we're expecting to see those temperatures ride out at least through sunset before they slowly start to taper back once again. So right now, road conditions, primarily those side roads just on the slushy side. The main for, uh, highways, I should say, are mostly on the dry stance, but as we move into Monday morning with our next batch of snow flurries that could make for a difficult morning commute. So let's break it all down for you right now. Seeing just those light rain showers up and down the I-5 corridor, up in elevation over the Coast Range and the Cascades. That's where we're picking up on the additional snow flurries as we zoom into the Portland metro area. We got just a few light rain showers near the Lake Oswego area, uh, continuing to track their way off towards the north and east as those southwesterly winds continue to keep our temperatures a little bit more comfortable. Now the major system that brought us the bone chilling temperatures and also that heavy snowfall back on Wednesday is now starting to take aim at parts of Kansas, Oklahoma and Texas. That's where the severe thunderstorm threat increases out that direction. Yesterday's storm into Canada now as it continues to drop a little bit of that snowfall over the high plains and now we prepare for our next low pressure system which will be moving in western Oregon and Washington bringing back the chance for yet again a wintry mix all starting tonight and as it does so it's going to continue to push that flow of moisture into our neck of the woods, but that's good news. We like to see the moisture, especially after we had a bit of a dry spell at the beginning of the month. But the gatekeeper, the jet stream, keeping the cold air out towards the east as a ridge eventually starts to build by the time we get into Wednesday. So drier and warmer conditions they are on the horizon. So our confidence with this latest storm moving into Monday, lingering into Tuesday still remains high and it's going to fall in the form of a wintry mix but melting on contact. So that is the good news. Here it is hour by hour expecting to see those temperatures still remain in towards the mid 30s by about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, but that's our best chance to see snow actively falling on the ground. It flips back over to those rain potentials by the afternoon and even into Tuesday. It's going to be real hit and miss in nature where it kind of teeter totters back and forth between the light snow flurries and a few of those raindrops as our snow accumulation in addition to what we've already seen over the past several days, maybe about a trace to a full inch, but a lot of these totals are going to be subject to loss due to the melting because the roadways are cold and our temperatures are going to remain just slightly above freezing. So by Monday morning, a wintry mix. It will be slushy in some spots, but by the time we get to the afternoon and evening hours, I think we should be clear of things because it will be warm enough that it's just going to fall in the form of rain, melting anything that still remains. As our seven day forecast does keep those coin six weather alert days through Tuesday, we fall to the low 40 for daytime highs, but warmer, drier skies on the horizon for Wednesday. Wayne? Yeah, the road's already so much better because of that rain. It yes. really does melt it quickly. All right, thank you, Josh. Coming